The purpose of this video is to demonstrate my technique on polishing old glossy black paint. I am working on a 1930s uh, Royal KHM standard typewriter and as you can see it is definitely not seen a polish in a long time. By this point the paint in the machine is nearly a hundred years old so the clear coat um, has been exposed to a lot. At the time these machines were used people smoked more heavily so there's a lot of nicotine staining all over the machine lots of fingerprints, um, general age, fade, sun fade. You can see, I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but you can compare this to this, and that's because the panel I removed overlaps the uh, casting of the machine. And as you can see, there's a lot of exposure here, or um, damage from exposure here compared to the lip that the top cover sits over. You'd be thinking, well, there's not much that can be done about this, but you'd be wrong. This is actually quite revivable if you use the right skills and techniques and materials. There will be a people, a purist, so to speak, and professionals that perhaps will criticize my um, methods, but um, I have always had success in reviving typewriters with glossy paint where the clear coat hasn't started to peel yet. If it reaches the states where it's cracking uh, or it has turned brown, then that is in an advanced state um, of degradation and at that point you're going to have to consider what you want to do with it. There is techniques I use on um, dealing with those kind of pro with that kind of um, aging. This is not the purpose for that video, so I will get to that later. Um, but I wanted to show you the way I would polish up this machine, for example. You'll see a final product by the time this is all put, uh, put back together and I will do a full demonstration on this machine. But for now, I just want to show you in a small spot here on the back panel of this typewriter how we're going to get the shine back into this paint. First thing you want to get is turtle wax. Um, I use the rubbing compound heavy duty cleaner, which has a tan color. You can get these at your usual little hardware supply store, uh, if you're in Canada, Canadian Tire, I think in, um, in the States, any car parts store, hardware stores, they will sell these. Walmart. Turtle Wax, they either come with a, rubby pa a rubbing pad or not. Uh, this one doesn't. It just is the compound, so you can, what I use, just use shop towels, works very well. I also get what I really love, which is called Mother's California Gold Synthetic Wax. This stuff is excellent. I also have a chrome polish variant. I highly recommend this brand. It works excellent on typewriters. You can bring these machines back to a mirror shine. And that is pretty much it for the compounds. Um, yeah, I use these, these shop towels and then I've got some rags that I bought at Costco. You can get these in a 50 and 100 bulk pack. They're very cheap and they do a job very well. Now what you want to do first is uh, make sure the surface is clean because if there's a lot of dirt, like for example there's mold spores growing on the paint here and the problem with that is if you leave that before you start rubbing you'll start to grind that into the paint. So what I usually do is I'll get some diluted pine sole, which is this stuff. Buy this at any dollar store, it works great. It's a disinfectant as well if you're a little worried about bacteria. I like to wear gloves just because, she, you know, not as much as my worry for chemicals as in that I work in the service industry and brown fingertips are just not an appealing thing. So you put a little pine sole on there. Make sure you clean this up a little bit. I accidentally rubbed over the logo. Now this one is already faded, so I'm not too worried about it. Be careful with your logos. Um, the emblems on these typewriters, they were applied um, water slide decals. They just come off so easily. And the thing is, this one is already silver. These machines, um, if you find them then when they're gold, that is not aging. The gold lettering is the way they came from the factory and it comes off very easily. Just a little bit of friction and some spit on your fingers can damage those decals. So you want to be careful with that. So make sure you rub off the excess. Make 
sure it's dry. Okay, we're going to go into the first step of polishing. Get some turtle wax. And what we're going to do here is apply that in a circular motion. You're going to feel some friction, that's okay. What Turtle Wax does is it takes away a very thin layer of either um, the clear coat or the paint. It's a sanding product in many ways. So you just rub it in. Comes a stage where the resistance increases, and that's because the compound's drying, and that's a stage where we're going to let it sit for a bit. So you see all this gunk that's coming off? That is literally 80, 90 years of fingerprints, nicotine, dirt, aging, it just a little bit of shellac. That's, that's nasty. But we're taking it off. You'll see a result here in a minute and it's going to be quite impressive because if you hold this against the light, you see millions of scratches. Watch and see what happens by the time we're finished with this. So you're gonna grab the other side of the towel well, we'll let this dry to a haze first. That's what you want to do. You want to just let it sit there. The reason I run incandescent bulbs in my shop bench lights is because they produce heat. And heat aids in... Um, you know, I, I have various products I use to clean my typewriters. I sprinkle alcohol, Varsal, paint thinner, polishes, and they all have... a. Um, you know, the, the, the cleaners have to dry out of the machine, the, the, the polishes have to dry in order to buff, and incandescent lights, that's my cat, incandescent lights aid in drying. So, this is probably a boring phase in the video, but I'm trying to keep this as entertaining as I can make it. I'm going to call this good enough for now. Grab the other side of the rag and you start at this point to do the, uh, the circular motion thing again. Now there might be some areas where the polish is still a bit wet, that's okay, just take it with it. Okay, at this point we're gonna grab that polishing rag. Grab a better one than this one. Here we go. This one's a bit stained, this one's clean. Know where that polishing rag's been. If you picked it up off the floor, don't use it to polish your black paint typewriter because you will hate yourself for scratching this paint. Black paint is difficult to polish. There's a reason they made a song that says black cars look better in the shade. Okay, now you already started to see a result, but as you can see, it is still hazy. At this stage, what we have done is we've taken off a layer of paint but the haze is still there. So we're going to go on to the next phase, which is getting the synthetic wax by Mothers. Still use the same towel or rag. You can use that. Make sure you shake it up before you open it up. I find that the chemicals in these, um, chemicals in these polishes, they tend to settle. I seem to have an inconsistent ability to find a quiet place to make these videos, so I apologize for any background noise. Rub this polish into the paint with a circular motion. At this point you might see some staining forming, that's because you're um, still removing dirt, and at this point turtle wax. Okay, there we go. See? More dirt's coming out. Now it's going to dry to a haze, looks terrible, but we're not finished yet here. This is where the magic comes. Grab your polishing rag. Now mother's polish dries very quickly, especially with incandescent light bulbs. And watch this. A little breath. Buff. Okay, do it again. You can start to see a change. Notice the haze difference. A 
more polish. Make sure you turn the shop towels over frequently. There you go, grab your polishing rag. Now you're gonna have to do this a few times in order to get this just right, but you can see what the result starts to be. I'm just making sure I'm turning this in the right way. Compare that shine to that. Notice an, a significant difference. And if I bring the camera in and you look close, if it will focus in on this, I don't know if it will. You can see in the area which haven't been touched, there is a lot of small scratches. And then the area polished, mirror shine. And that is how you polish old glossy black paint, such as on man manual typewriters. Make sure you do not go too far. That's my final war that's my warning with um, these techniques, especially with turtle wax. I speak from experience when I say I've taken off the clear coat, and that is um, not a reversible error. That will be it will show in a way where you'll have a brown circle, and the center of that circle is a lot darker than the outer ring, and that means you've gone through the clear coat and damaged it. Um, so you want to make sure you don't go too far. I advise you to do one round of turtle wax and as many rounds of Mother's California Gold synthetic waxing as it takes to get that shine. But don't go crazy because it is very old paint, it is old clear coat and it's easily damaged. So make sure you use the right techniques. And as you can see, I haven't used any special special buffing tools. I've used shop towel rags and buffing polishing cloths and it 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 can bring back 100-year-old paint to a rather breathtaking shine. But that's it. that's the end of this video. The battery on this camera is dead. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment.